Hey guys, we've just um, gas flowed the exhaust outlet port and um, it's my son that's done it, uh, 16 years old and he's done a really good job. Let me put, change the focus. Okay, so we can see there how he's removed all the metal and smoothed it all so to the new diameter then a really nice really nice job and even even polished up the casting surface uh, further in the port just to smooth off some of the the, the, the the flashing okay so yeah really nice job um tools that are used Started with these small diamond uh, tools to take off the sharp edges and to get a, to, 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 to get it going. This cuts through the cast iron really nicely, and um, so excellent for that. But the the diamond is too small, and so ultimately, once you've got the um, the edge off the boring edges, then um, if you keep, continue to use these, these will just travel in. So um, we moved, uh, he chose, he found it was causing a problem, and moved on to a much larger diameter. Um, it's a sandstone type of um, a, a grinder, grinding stone. And, um, and so then he was able to actually take off the, the, the metal using, using this. And then finished with these, these are tubes of, um, of emery cloth. You just slot them on and off, you know. And um, so that was uh, finishing with that. And then we finally finished with a buffing wheel with some, with some buffing wax to, uh, to smooth it all off. And uh, it took it took him about an hour and a half uh, to do, so it was, it was quite uh, quite quick. But yeah, really, really impressed with the uh, with the results. It's to be seen what uh, impact it has on the performance of the bike, uh, but we're going to find out. But uh, work wise, yeah, uh, it's great. Finished off that uh, exhaust port outlet port very nicely. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, so we broke the glaze. You can see there with some carbon and paper. Um, yeah, we didn't want to put our honing tool through again because um, it's fairly aggressive and we're already, I think we're big, we've got a 40.3 piston in and um, I didn't really want to uh, to go for that again. Uh, so we've just broke the glaze with a piece of carbon and paper on our finger and carefully moved it around in a, in a place, then turned and then just kept cutting the same amount each time, you know, as we as we went, just carefully breaking the, breaking the, breaking the glaze. Um, when finished, it's critical that you um, wash off. I washed off, I put it into, um, into a tub and poured over um, the old fuel that I'd recovered from the, the petrol tank. It stinks, I don't know what happens to this, to this fuel, it stinks terrible. But um, we got it there and, uh, and then Get it fully bathed in, and um, and and get the get it moving in the in the fluid, so that it gets all the carborundum um, powder, uh, the grit, uh, off, and all the bits of metal and cast iron, and it'll all wash off. And at the bottom, you'll have a, a, a black residue of, uh, of of the carborundum and the grit, and bits of sandstone, and, and everything like that. So it's absolutely critical that you give it a good a good wash off. You know. Um, in that or in petrol or even in, in in paraffin you know but just get get something to clear it off and um 
and there we are yeah it's 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 ready to go on okay we'll see how it works <laughs>